Welcome back guys to another video. Uh, just before I continue, I just thought I'd let you know what the situation is here in Australia, more specifically Victoria. Uh, so construction has been shut down for two weeks and as you saw in the last two videos, I uh, started my first job with a builder and on that job I have one day left which I can't, uh, I can't finish until we go back. So I thought this would be a good time to make a video on my setup and show you guys uh, what I use to run my business. Uh, this is what works for me. Uh, as you can see, this is my trailer and uh, all my tools in there. Some of it is on the site. Um, so I thought I'll just show you what I have here at least. Uh, if you think I'm missing anything, uh, let me know in the comments. But in the meantime, uh, this is what I have. So this is my setup. Okay, so first thing uh, I'm going to show you is my mixer. So this is a, well, you can't really see the name, but it's, uh, it's the Brickstore mixer. Uh, on my very first video, the one where I built the fence, uh, that was the first time I actually used this mixer. So let me, let me know if you guys think this is a, I've taken care of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll stay like that for a while, maybe, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, uh, I got this from Technique Tools. I'm sure uh, some Melbourne viewers uh, will probably be familiar with, the, with this, um, this shop. So I got that from there, and uh, yeah, it's been with me since. So hopefully it lasts a while. <laughs> okay, guys, so as you can see, here's my two wheelbarrows. Uh, the reason why I have two is because you know, it's just me, so working by yourself, it's a, it's a lot of work. So what I like to do, I have, uh, I have one batch in the mixer and then two barrows. So it helps me stay on the wall a little bit longer and get my, get my bricks in for the day. And uh, another reason is also just because I could have one batch in here and if I need more bricks, I can also I have another barrow to use to cart around instead of walking. So with this wheelbarrow, I've, this is my oldest wheelbarrow. Um, I've had this since I started doing my own small jobs uh, before these videos. So it's not a it's not a heavy duty one. It's um, sort of general purpose, sort of move around bark and all that. But I've used it for mud and sort of wearing down on me. Uh, I've had to I've, I've had to change the the tire twice. Um, but you know, I think it's on the, on the end of its life soon, so I have to change it. And this one, uh, this is my newer one, but again, it's sort of, it's kind of old as well. Um, this one's heavy duty, so uh, I'm sure it'll last a little bit longer. Uh, but yeah, um, you don't you don't need a heavy duty barra just to show it away. Uh, we could just use whatever. And just make sure the tire. Just make sure the tire is uh, is good to go. So these are uh, mudboard stands. Um, I have six or seven of these, and um, yeah, they just open open up like this. And I put it in between the brick stacks. Uh, just yeah, again, working on your own, you could sort of save your back as well. So I don't have to bend over so much. Uh, it makes a difference. So, uh, yeah, my, my balls are at the job site, so firstly you would put it on top and then just keep going. Alright guys, so on to my next tool. So these are expansion guides, as you can see I have three of them. And uh, these just um, mostly keep the expansion joints, uh, control joints or AJs, uh, they just keep them straight and even. Um, so. For example, uh, as you can see up there, that's a that's an expansion joint. So what I would do on the job site is just put this uh, in between as I'm as I'm laying, and then um, and then take it out after and sort of just clean it. So that, yeah, so that my my AJs aren't like just uh, wonky or uneven. Okay, guys. So there's my levels. I have three that I carry around. So this is, this is 1200, 600, and a 2 meter. 
I just use this to at the end of um, my wall. I'll check the whole thing. But for the most part, I just use the 1200 and the 600. I'll just use for let's say on the on the garage piers, just make sure it's um, the bricks are level. Uh, all right, so these are my buckets. I have six of these. Uh, they're 20, li 20 liter buckets, so I just use them to make my my batches. Make sure they're all uh, consistent with each other. So the big thing here is uh, in Australia is a like color variation, so we try and avoid that by mixing all of them by buckets and uh, and not by shovel. So continuing on, uh, this is my garage rod. So it's a 85, 85. Uh, 84, 87, 86. So just use them to gauge from the top to the bottom or from the window or whatever. So make sure the gauges are even. Uh, this is my ladder. So when I was working for someone, I had carried a ladder around um, in case I got sent out to do patch ups and I could sort of reach higher areas if I needed to do fill up uh, holes or whatever um, or reach bricks that I couldn't uh, off the ground. Um, so these are my shovels. Um, this, is the <laughs> this is my shovel I use for the mud. Uh, I've had this the same time I've had the barra as well, so it's been with me for a while. Um, I'm due for a new one. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> and also is the sand shovel. Uh, this is this just kept me going for a while too. Um, Scraper, obviously keep the jobs clean, and as well as the the broom. I don't really use the broom; you can sort of get away with a, a scraper. Uh, yeah. So, obviously, there's my hose. I did buy 30 meters of a hose, but I sort of cut it in half because you don't need all 30 meters. Um, so, and this is the uh, this is the hose gun that I use. I got this from Technic Tools, and I think this is probably the best. Um, hose that you can use. The garden hoses, uh, is, they're very popular, but sand goes, a lot of sand can go into it and sort of ruin the hose gun. So if you are looking for a hose, I reckon get this one because it's probably the best one that I've used um, in the meantime. So lastly, uh, it's my, um, these are the trestles that I use. These are um, just the smaller ones and not the bigger ones. Um, I don't have any bigger ones because I only do single stories. Um, so these, these do. Uh, I'll show you how high they go. Uh, usually, I don't take them all the way to the like max. Um, but anyway, I go about yeah, this high, so a um, bit of convenience, I guess, if you if the houses are a little bit more higher. But I, for for the meantime, I just use these. Uh, I have six of these. Um, there's only three here. There's three on the on the job site, so I'm sure you'll see more action on them um, in future videos. So all right, guys. So lastly, uh, this is my this is my toolbox. It's a steel toolbox. I've had this since I've uh, like very first started um, in brick laying. So I recommend getting one of them instead of the tool bag. You can step on it, and uh, it'll just last forever. So I'm gonna um, pack all my tools away. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you'll see how I pack it away. So. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the next one and uh, I'll see you guys next time.